Okay, so we're here for part two of the Origami Red War Dragon. Hopefully now you should have this base. If you don't, then check out part one. So, we now go to the arms. And we do a reverse fold. This is going to be the pistol. And then we do another pleat to two pleats to make a hand for the thing. Well, you don't need to do that. I'm not going to do it for this tutorial because it only really works to hold the tissue foil. And then reverse fold this up. And then outside reverse fold that to that. And now we are just going to do on the other one just a simple squash to make a shield. And then do a rabbit ear to slim the arm down. Once again, this model works best with any type of foil, but Kami doesn't hold together as well, but Again, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using content for that. Now we are going to do the um shape the hump spikes. So we are now gonna go to the tail and then push this part in, folding along this edge, and then doing a pleat like that. Then making these two folds and pleating them in. Um, pardon my vacuum, pardon that vacuum cleaner, mm, spring cleaning at the end of spring. Um, okay, so it's like that. And then just do several pleats and then shape it. I'm not gonna do that in this yet, but because I've been I'm using such small paper. It really works with big paper though. We're gonna work on the head. We're going to open up this and make a shape. Doesn't really matter what shape it is. And then we are going to just turn it over and collapse it. Like that. And then reverse fold the tip and shape the teeth. Add, well, add more teeth if you want to. I normally just do one or two, but here. So, and like. And then do several pleats on the tail, which I'm not going to do yet, because, and then do pleats on the neck, just to make it look cool. And on the tail, we're going to make that ninja star shape, so we're going to open that up and squash it down to make this arrowhead sort of shape, and fold that down. And then turn it over. And then just squish it around to find a good place. I like to do that kind of try down thing sometimes. But for the original, I used it in just a. Well, actually, for the original, I did a curl, but you could do whatever you want. So after you've done, you're done shaping, it should look something around this. Not as detailed and big though, of course. Unless you did end up using tissue foil and doing all that extra stuff. Um, so this is pretty much the war dragon. But if you want to make the neck the color that you are using, then you will then just pleat like that to make it red. Um, 
the room is going to look like that. Congratulations if you folded the war dragon. I know this is not quite such an easy model, but um, if you managed to fold that, congratulations. See you next time on the fourth world.